YouTube, this is Dive Life Fish. Just want to show you, this is one of the cells that I've had in a um, molecular sieve silica gel desiccant for the last couple of months. And it, for its all intent and purposes, um, dormant. But I'm going to show you what happens when you add just a couple drops of water here. One, two, three, four. So four tiny drops of water and off she goes. Now obviously, the speed and rate in which that affected the change cannot be attributed to you know, massive hydration and massive galvanic action because that water didn't even have a chance to get to the magnesium at that point. So what we'll see here is a rise in the current level. And again, this speaks to you know, the ionic action that's occurring. not simply galvanic change. So now we see it go back down again as the water is distributed within the crystalline matrix. And here we're going to add a couple more drops. So you can see just the water movement or the ionic movement through the crystal matrix perhaps is the trigger for the electrical activity here. And not so much, you know, the flooded galvanic response that some people may be thinking. Because again, the volume of that crystalline substrate versus the volume of fluid that I place there, it's a quite a discrepancy. So again, you can see how it's going back down. If this were galvanic action, strictly speaking, the current level wouldn't decrease again. But what we're seeing is that we're seeing an activation, I think, in the crystalline lattice as the water is mobilized throughout those crystals generating the current. So it's the ionic movement within the crystalline structure itself perhaps is a primary modalis of how these things work when they are dry or when they are drying. During the formative stage if we are placing a wet electrolyte within the substance of the magnesium or aluminum whatever you're using, yes, can you have some galvanic action? Yes, but once we dry these things and the activity has been arrested, and if it is not completely hydrated, I don't think we can argue that it's strict galvanic in its uh, functionality. And again, you see the current level going down. And as we rehydrate, and add a few more drops of water here, you'll see the current level go up again. Here comes another drop. One, and off she goes. Okay, so again, we're seeing the crystals imbibe the water producing a current. And as the water distributes and equalizes, the current goes down. So these cells, almost a matter of breathing as it were, so they pull the water in, generate current, you have evaporative action which may f serve to function to pull in more water so the movement of the ions at least in the open lattice crystals that we have here that are not sealed are simultaneously dependent upon water influx and water egress perhaps as a mechanism of action so I just wanted to bring that out to everybody to show that just from a volumetric standpoint, um, you know, the, the water isn't even hitting the magnesium at that point in time when we see the current flux. So, have a great day. Thanks for watching.